When you look at a catcher, all you see is their heavy gear, their so-called tools of ignorance. But what about the man behind the mask? The catcher has the most thankless job, but yet is arguably the most important defensive position on the field. The catcher is involved in every single play. In every play, begins with a pitch. When the pitcher throws the ball to you, you have to throw it back to him, you know. That's why, like, that position, you always have to doing stuff with the pitcher, you know, you know, like playing off, you have to wait. Somebody hit the ball there, so. The catcher has a number of responsibilities, ranging from communicating plays and bunt coverage to blocking wild pitches and throwing out shifty base stealers, just to name a few. The amount of involvement that you have, I mean, you're always involved and uh, every moment of every, every second of every game you're involved and you're calling the game and you're always right there. It's not just, you're in action, not a reaction. We try to help the pitcher and we, we're the only player, you know, in the foul territory looking forward to the other guys. But catchers are glad there's one thing they don't have to worry about. And we don't get gun balls. The catcher is the most physically demanding position in baseball. And although every player on the Brewers wears the same jersey, the catcher requires a little extra. Now we got gear, you know, with leg guard, shirt, shirt protector, and mats. Uh, you know, we get hit, foul tip, you know, blocking ball, we get hit in the ribs, in the leg, so. It's hard being back there, getting beat. Well, you know, it's just part of the position. You gotta, kind of got to accept it. It's, uh, it's tough. It's a, it's a battle sometimes, but you just got to deal with it and get, get through it. Based on the batter's tendencies and weaknesses, the catcher gives signs to the pitcher, telling him what pitch to throw. But what's the meaning behind their secret sign language? Well, when you're giving signs, a fastball is a one, curveball is a two, a slider is a three, or it sometimes can be a cutter and a change-up is a wiggle with your fingers. And, uh, and that's pretty much, it's pretty much uh, signs, are pr they're pretty simple. You know, and some guys, uh, if they throw like a, like a knuckleball or a split finger or something, it could be a five. It just depends on the pitcher, really. Okay, so the pitcher gets on the mound. You know, I might be on my knees, I throw my mask on. Pitcher gets on the, on the rubber. I get in my stance. I, uh, I use this glove to cover up the view from the third base coach so he can't peek in. I kind of turn this knee so the first base coach can't peek in. And I give a sign, so I'll say fastball away. Because this fastball with, um, with my pinky, one with my pinky is a fastball on this side of the plate. That's a fastball on this side of the plate. So I'll give a sign, whatever it is, and then I'll shift into it, and I'll get down and I'll get ready. Then I'll catch it and throw it back. I'll do the same thing over again. And when there's someone on base, I'll give a sign, I'll shift, and then I'll get up. Because if the guy might run or might have to block a ball, I have to get up and be more ready. Now that you know the signs, what else do you need to know to be an all-star catcher? At least work hard, you know. Trust what you're doing, try to learn the most you can. That's probably my advice. It just takes a lot of hard work and sacrifice and uh, dedication, really. I mean, it's all, uh, it's like anything else. You just got to really work hard at it. But can anyone really be a catcher? You won't be from playing first base one day. I want to be catching, and then next day you want to be in the big leagues. That takes a lot of preparation to be a catcher. For the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, I'm Taylor Bell reporting.